Thank you all for coming today. Um, and thank you to the Federalist Society and to the Center for Law, Law and Counterterrorism for hosting this event. My name is Naomi Rao, and I'm a professor at George Mason University. And I'll be moderating today's panel. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised to see the title of this panel. Um, because it seems that after the Christmas Day bombing, we're back to using the term war on terror. If this panel had been held a few months ago, we might be talking about the overseas contingency operation, Where Are We Now? Um, but whatever you want to call it, the global war against terrorism continues. And the recent thwarted attack simply reminds us of the sobering fact. It raises vital issues about national security and the intelligence operations that are at work. Today's panel will be focusing on the litigation that has arisen in the course of waging the war on terror. In the more than eight years since 9-11, a significant portion of the domestic focus has shifted, in a perhaps uniquely American fashion, to the federal courts. And we're faced with questions such as what types of rights, procedural and substantive, do we give to detained terrorism suspects? The courts have become the battleground for these issues in large part due to a series of Supreme Court decisions culminating in the 2008 decision in Boumediene versus Bush, which allowed terrorist suspects detained in Guantanamo Bay to petition for habeas corpus relief. In coming to this conclusion, the court overturned the statutory procedures that were carefully worked out by the President and Congress. Perhaps because of these judicial defeats, the political branches have decided not to grapple with setting out a framework for these difficult issues. And this has left the courts to work out the details of detainee rights, one case at a time. And while these habeas cases work their way through the courts, the Obama administration has decided to try Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalab in civilian courts, with all the process and protections that those courts afford. These developments lead to a number of questions that our panelists will address from different angles. First, there are institutional concerns about federal courts developing and enforcing difficult law of war principles for terrorist suspects. What are the consequences of leaving such decisions to the courts? Should terrorist suspects be tried in ordinary courts? And second, there are substantive questions about how this litigation is proceeding. Have the courts managed to articulate a workable standard that the government can apply to detainees and terrorist suspects? We plan to discuss these and many other questions today. So to get things started, um, I will first briefly introduce the panels, panelists. And they've all agreed to limit their remarks to around seven to nine minutes so that we should have plenty of time for questions from the audience. Our first speaker will be David Rivkin, who is a partner at the law firm of Baker Hostetler in Washington, DC. And he's co-chair of the Center for Law and Counterterrorism. He served in a number of legal and policy positions in the Reagan and George H.W. Bush administrations, where he advised on many subjects, including national security. His ideas are frequently seen in the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, the New York Times, and many other newspapers and magazines. Our second speaker will be Neil Katyal, who is currently the Principal Deputy Solicitor General. As a Georgetown University law professor, he litigated and won Hamden versus Rumsfeld in the Supreme Court. Professor Katyal has previously advised on national security issues in the office of the Deputy Attorney General. He clerked for Justice Stephen Breyer, as well as Judge Guido Calabresi of the Second Circuit. Professor Katyal is widely published in both academic and popular journals and newspapers. Our third panelist is, Stephen, is Professor Stephen Vladek from the American University Washington College of Law. Professor Vladek's research focuses on national security and constitutional law. He has co-authored amicus briefs in a number of lawsuits challenging the US government's surveillance and detention of terrorism suspects. He has drafted reports on national security issues for a number of prominent organizations. Professor Vladek clerked for Judge Marsha Berzon on the Ninth Circuit and Judge Rosemary Barquette on the 11th. And our final panelist will be Stephen Engel, who is currently a partner at Deckert Law Firm. Before returning to private practice, Mr. Engel served as Deputy Assistant Attorney General for the Office of Legal Counsel, where he advised on various matters, including national security issues. Mr. Engel has testified before Congress on reforming the military commission system and on the legal rights of Guantanamo detainees. He clerked for Justice Anthony Kennedy and Judge Alex Kaczynski on the Ninth Circuit. So as you can see, our panelists have a wide range of experience in government, private practice, and academia. And their experiences should give us a framework for an interesting discussion about where to go next on the war on terror. And with that, let me turn it over to David Rivkin. Thank you.